There. All right. In this uh, segment of anatomy, we're going to talk about the coronary arteries and coronary veins. Basically, the special circulatory route that the heart has itself. Okay. Um, first, what I'd like to start out uh, is start out in the anterior aspect of the heart. Now, let's kind of get a little acquainted with some surface anatomy before we dive into these vessels here. Okay. As you can see, this is the right side of the heart. This would be the right atrium right here. This would be the right ventricle, okay? And then if you drew kind of an imaginary line somewhere not quite down the middle of the heart, but you can see this, this would be where the interventricular septum would be. This is the piece of tissue that divides the two ventricles um, of the heart, those of which are the lower chambers. And then this over here is the left side of the heart. You can see that this is, would be the left ventricle down here. And then this would be the left atrium uh, on the superior as the superior chamber on the left side. Okay. Now, as you can see, the right atrium is larger than the than the left atrium, so that's a good way to distinguish the two apart. Um, and then, as you can see here, this would be the the ascending aorta, and then this would be the arch of the aorta, and then, as you can see, the aorta will descend on the posterior aspect of the heart and then travel down the thoracic and abdominal cavity. Okay. And then right here, this would be the pulmonary artery. And then we have the superior and inferior vena cava here. Okay. And then all of these structures on the upper aspect of the heart, this is called the base of the heart up here. Okay. And then down here, this would be the apex of the heart, this little point um, right there. Okay. So now let's talk about the coronary arteries themselves. Okay. Now there are two major coronary arteries um, that originate in the heart. Okay, and they're called the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery. Okay, now these arteries originate just superior to or above the aortic semilunar valve. Remember, the semilunar valves are located in the great arteries of the heart. There's a pulmonary and aortic. Okay, and the area where these arteries originate is called the aortic sinus. Okay, which is the little space just above the valve. So the coronary arteries are getting very fresh blood, that's very fresh oxygenated blood that's being pumped from the left ventricle, okay? So as you can see along the right side of the heart, we have the right coronary artery. And the right coronary artery travels uh, parallel to or along the right atrioventricular groove. Atrioventricular groove meaning this is the kind of indentation in between the atria and the ventricle itself, okay? And then as you can see that there are some small branches that travel down and supply the right side of the heart. Now there is one branch that we want to give some attention to and that's the right marginal branch. Okay, the right marginal branch travels down the, I would say the anterolateral aspect of the heart, meaning the front and side of the heart. Okay, so the most of the right coronary artery on the anterior side supplies the upper, you know, the right ventricle and then the right marginal artery travels all, almost all the way down, but not quite to the apex of the heart. Okay, and then this artery, like I said, supplies the anterior and lateral aspects of the, the right ventricle itself. Okay, and then as you can see, the right coronary artery wraps around and travels to the posterior aspect of the heart, and we'll look at its branches on the, when we get to the posterior view. Okay. And this right here, you can see, this is the aortic semilunar valve, and this is this would be about the area where the sinus is, where this artery originates. Okay, kind of just behind the right atrium. Then next, let's let's work our way to the. Oh, and then one thing I forgot to mention is that in about 60% of the human population, there is an artery called the um, SA nodal branch or the sinoatrial nodal branch. This artery originates about really close to where the right coronary artery originates and it travels up to the SA node itself. Remember the SA node is the pacemaker of the heart. It, it needs a, you know, its own good rich blood supply. And in the other 40%, this um, artery originates around the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery, travels along the posterior aspect of the left atrium and then supplies the SA node with blood. Either way, the SA node is getting a fresh supply of blood. Okay. So next, we have the left coronary artery. This is the other major artery of the heart. Now this artery originates uh, more, in the, more in the posterior side of the aorta, just above the valve, again in the left aortic sinus. And this artery travels 
along the posterior aspect of the pulmonary artery and again un down just underneath the um, left atrioventricular groove. Okay, now this artery, right about when it gets to the base of the atria, it's gonna go a couple, it's gonna branch in a couple different directions, okay? First, as you see, this artery travels down the anterior side of the left ventricle and pretty much parallel to the interventricular septum, okay? Now, this is called the anterior descending artery or they call it the left descending coronary artery, okay? Now, this, like I said, this artery supplies you know, a good chunk of the left ventricle with oxygen-rich blood, okay? And then you also have what's called the circumflex artery. This artery travels in a circular fashion, hence the term circumflex, around the, under, just underneath the left AV groove, AV stands for atrioventricular, around to the posterior aspect of the heart, okay? And then right about where this the circumflex artery is gonna take a turn around to the posterior side, there is a left marginal artery that travels down the, um, the left anterolateral side of the heart. So basically it has similar, uh, travels down a similar path than the right marginal artery, okay? Now, the, let's kind of come back to the, le the anterior descending artery of the left coronary artery. Now, as you can see, this travels all the way down to the apex of the heart and it actually wraps around the apex and, go, and travels up the posterior side of the heart right by the IV septum, okay? And then this will anastasmose or connect with the, um, with the descending artery of the right coronary artery, okay? So this concludes kind of the anterior aspects of the coronary arteries or the coronary circulation, okay? Again, you know, we come back, we have two major coronary arteries that originate in the, you know, in the sinus just above the aortic valve that form many branches that supply the atria and the ventricles. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is that with the naked eye, you're really not gonna be able to see the coronary arteries that actually supply the atria of the heart, they're just small. They're not that large, they're not that significant. Um, you're just not gonna really see them in a, in a, in a you know, uh, heart that comes straight out of a cadaver. Okay, it's one thing I didn't wanna mention. Okay, now let's move to the, let's move to the posterior inferior view. Now we have to look at it from the posterior inferior side because of all of the traffic that's going on on the posterior side of the heart. Now let's kind of take a look at this for a second. And pardon the breakage in this model here. I was walking with it one day. A student decided to jump out and startled me and I dropped it. So, but as you can see, you have the right atrium here. You have the left, pul left and right pulmonary veins meeting up with the left atrium here. You have the superior vena cava. You have the pulmonary trunk and you have the aorta um, around here. So there's a lot of space being taken up by the upper chambers and the vascular and the great arteries of the heart here, okay? So that's why we have to look at this from the posterior inferior view to actually see these major vessels on the posterior side of the heart. Now we'll come back to this model in a minute, okay? So now let's continue with the right coronary artery. Now again, the right coronary artery wraps around, um, excuse me, wraps around the right AV groove where it will eventually travel along what's called the, the crux of the heart, okay? And then what it'll do is it'll form a descending branch, okay? Now, this um, posterior, the posterior aspect of this artery then supplies the backside of the right ventricle and then down the um, posterior aspect of the IV septum, okay? So this artery, as you can see, the right coronary artery supplies, you know, pretty much the entire right side of the heart. Okay, and then as you can see down here, this is where the left and the left descending or the anterior descending artery wrapped around the apex of the heart and comes in close contact to the posterior descending of the right coronary artery. Okay, and then now as you can see, the circumflex branch now wraps around the heart and travels almost to where the right coronary artery branches off into the posterior descending, okay? And then it also descends slightly downward and supplies the posterior aspect of the left ventricle with blood, 
Okay, so there's not nearly as much going on in terms of coronary arteries on the posterior aspect of the heart as there is on the anterior side. Okay, and then as you can see right here, this is the arch of the this is the arch of the aorta. This would be the aortic valve. This right here is the SA nodal artery. These are the pulmonary veins. Okay, have the superior inferior vena cava, and this is the pulmonary trunk. Okay, so just to kind of get your landmark terminology squared away again. Okay, and then as you can see, the arteries that are in the da that are have dashed lines. This would be like looking at them through the heart. So these would be on all on the anterior aspect of the heart, and the solid lines are on the actual side that we're looking at here, or the solid colors. I'm sorry I didn't mention that in the first illustration. Okay, so these are the coronary arteries from the posterior aspect of the heart. Okay, now let's move to the venous drainage of the heart. Um, okay, now we'll start on the posterior inferior view just because there's a lot more traffic and there's a lot more going on here in regards to the actual veins itself. Okay, now the major vein is very large. Okay, it's called a coronary sinus. It's about an inch in length. Okay, and it, and it is found traveling along the inferior aspect of the right, right atrium and it wraps almost all the way around by the um, by where the circumflex artery would be traveling on the left side of the heart. Now this is a big widely um, dilated vessel because like I said as, as you can see just by looking at this image you can see that most of these veins are draining into the sinus itself okay and the coronary sinus meets up with the right atrium where this poorly oxygenated blood that the heart used is then drained back into the right atrium to pick up more oxygen okay so basically what you can see here is you can see the coronary sinus you can see the left posterior ventricular vein okay you can see the middle cardiac vein and you see small cardiac veins on the right side and then there's also a left marginal vein now what you'll notice is that these veins are named very similarly to the arteries so therefore these veins are traveling parallel with the coronary arteries Okay, that's one thing to keep in mind whenever you're studying the coronary, when the, the coronary circulation is that coronary arteries and coronary veins run parallel to one another. Okay, and that just helps make the whole circulation process just that much easier. Okay, um, and then right here we have the oblique vein of the left atrium. This is a very small insignificant vein. It does do some slight drainage of the um, left atrium, but overall, you know, again, it's not a very big noticeable vein. Okay. So then if we go to the anterior aspect of the heart, you can see that there are a few more veins. We have what are called the anterior cardiac veins. These are draining the superior aspect of the right ventricle and the right atrium and drain directly into the right atrium itself. Okay. We have another small cardiac vein that runs parallel uh, to the right marginal uh, coronary artery. And then we have what's called the great cardiac vein. Okay, this vein runs um, parallel to the anterior descending, or the left anterior descending to be specific, and what it does is it eventually meets up with the circumflex artery and then wraps around the posterior side of the heart, and you can see where the great cardiac vein will then meet up with the coronary sinus, and then blood will be drained into the right atrium. Okay, and that's really all there is to truly see, I mean, just on this image here of the coronary uh, veins. Now, let's talk about a few little facts or tidbits about the coronary circulation. Okay, now like I already mentioned, remember that that vein, the coronary veins and arteries run parallel to one another. Okay, and there is one special little uh, form of circulation called the Thebesian veins. Okay, these are small veins that you're not going to see with the naked eye. Okay, these are veins that originate directly from the capillaries within the myocardium or the muscle tissue of the heart itself. And these small veins, they don't contain valves and they open right up, right directly into the chambers of the heart itself. Okay. So therefore, these are draining directly into the chambers. So, and these are found in the in highest concentration along the right atrium and in the right ventricle. But there are some within the left atrium and left ventricle and the left atrium. Now let's talk about that for a second because if you, you know, check someone's oxygen saturation or O2 sats, they never come up 100% unless you're actually flooding them with an oxygen mask. Okay, and this is one of the reasons why. 
Okay, it's because we are mixing poorly oxygenated venous blood with well oxygenated arterial blood. Okay. Um,